Hi everybody, I am Mags Livingston and I'm talking today to the gorgeous Katrina Mader. Katrina is the founder and driving force behind the Body Toolkit Health and Detox Retreats. And I got to know Katrina actually about three years ago, I think it was Katrina, and I was introduced to her by my sister. <clears throat> so my sister, for those of you who don't know her, uh, Rose, had gone through cancer treatment and at the end of her treatment she decided she wanted to go on a retreat and just try and give her body a real break from all the um, chemotherapy and all the drugs etc that she she'd obviously had in her system. So she went on one of Katrina's retreats somewhere in the north of Scotland which was a stunning venue and came back feeling amazing. So she then invited me along to one of the workshops that Katrina was doing um, and that's how I got to know Katrina. Went along and you'll hear when, I, when Katrina starts talking how passionate she is, particularly about juicing, and that kind of sent me on my own wee journey um, into juicing, which I now do regularly. So Katrina, first of all, I know <laughs> running health retreats is not your background. You studied engineering at university? Yep. So how did you get from being an engineer to working in the health and detox market? Yeah, well, yeah, it wasn't a, a sort of clean transition, but I guess all through my teens, I was sort of plagued by health conditions and, and health stuff that was going on. And I was trying to research things and try to see if anything would happen. And I was a bit of a dabbler. I'd, I'd had a juicer as a teenager and I dabbled in it and I, I bought different books and I was trying different things, but I never really did anything in a committed way. And while I had quite a long list of stuff. I had digestive problems, skin problems, low energy, low mood, depression. Even with that long list of stuff, I wasn't really motivated to make any big changes diet-wise until in my early 20s, I developed anxiety. And in a way, that anxiety was a bit of a gift because it was in the form of a stammer. So all of a sudden, I was struggling to make phone calls. I was struggling to speak to people I didn't know and in a way it was a gift because it really stopped me in my tracks because up until that point I could put more makeup on the bad skin, I could pop a painkiller for the bad digestion, but all of a sudden I couldn't hide from this stammer and it really made me look hard at, at my lifestyle and everything and, and force change. And the change that I made initially was to cut out sugar and within about 10 days I noticed that my anxiety levels had halved. But not only that, my back pain was better, my mood was better, I was less irritable, I had more energy. So I got the juicer out again, started juicing in, in a much more committed fashion and made little small tweaks and within about a month, five weeks, I felt like a different girl. You know, I had the energy, the depression had lifted, the IBS was gone, the anxiety, what anxiety? And I just became bowled over by this, you know, I'd made small changes to my diet and lifestyle and I was seeing dramatic differences to how I felt physically and emotionally. And that then just fueled this passion of researching and reading and learning more about health and nutrition and then wanting to share it with others. And so I, I did engineering um, at uni, but I, I had a really miserable time. I was not a happy girl in my early, um, late teens and early 20s. And so the thought of going back to uni to train in health or nutrition, that just didn't appeal. And then I started daydreaming about imagine if you could take people away for a week and share all this good stuff with them in a beautiful setting like the West Coast Highlands. And um, long story short, I decided to try it and trial a week of juicing in the Highlands with nice walks and a bit of coaching and so on. And thankfully the first one went really well. And that then just snowballed into a business. Um, and thankfully I'm now six years down the line doing it. And uh, Although I don't have any formal qualifications in, in health and nutrition, I've now got six years worth and hundreds of testimonials of how this process really helps people. Um, so yeah, that's my long-winded answer into oh, how no. I got into this. You know, it, it's fascinating and even just, I mean, obviously I've met you in person, I've been to one of your workshops and anybody watching this just looking at you, you just ooze health and you just look amazing and I do think that that it just comes from the heart to know that you have actually come across this business because you know how it's helped you and how satisfying it must be Katrina to see all these people come through your retreats and knowing that you've made a difference in their life it must be so rewarding. 
Absolutely. You know, I, so I was then in my late 20s when I started the retreat in 2014 and I had a sort of confidence crisis of, you know, who am I to do this? I'm too young. I'm not qualified. And, and then I looked at my bookshelf and I looked at all the authors that I've been following and quite a lot of them are really just teaching from their own experience. You know, I don't know, Louise Hay or Jason Vale. These people are, are really just teaching their own experience. And I thought, you know what, if, if I can share that much information with someone who I'm a little bit ahead of and it helps them, then I want to start doing it now. Um, and yeah, and it's the most rewarding thing in the world is seeing people feel better at the end. Of the week. I mean, how many holidays do we go on, go on where you come back from the holiday feeling like you need another holiday to recover from the holiday? You just, you know. um, Absolutely. Whereas people come away with me and actually they don't feel so great the first few days as they're coming off caffeine and coming off sugar and all that, but they leave feeling a million dollars. Absolutely. Absolutely. So obviously with the current situation, nobody can go on a retreat with you, but I know you've been running virtual retreats. Yes. Well, can you tell us, what does that look like? Yeah, well, yeah, COVID-19 has stopped everybody in the tourism industry in, in their tracks and well, derailed the whole country. Um, but I've been really so blessed to be able to take all my kind of coaching and, and it, all of that stuff onto a virtual kind of platform. So I've been running the retreats. So it's essentially helping people to set up a retreat at home. So I give them all the recipes, all the shopping lists. I give them instructions on how to use the juicer and, and everything. And then we're doing four daily calls throughout the day. So we all come together and have our juices throughout the day together, we do little mini workshops. We've got Daniela who's recorded the yoga. So she's still getting her input in there. And um, it's been incredible. Uh, it's been really quite amazing because in the last what five weeks, we've had 40 people sign up from over 10 countries. It's blown my mind as to how, how much of an appeal this has had. And um, given that everyone's been stuck indoors and, and wanting to turn, or often wanting to turn this into a bit of a positive, you know, being stuck indoors and wanting to feel the better for it. Um, but in a way, it's been almost more profound doing the virtual retreats because everyone's having to do all the juicing themselves within their own environment with their own triggers and responsibilities it's almost like from day one they're setting up the habits at home which I think is almost more profound than coming away for a week and being pampered and having all your juices given to you exactly um, and the feedback's been incredible as well so it, it was a real experiment to start with but I think it's something that I'm going to continue doing alongside the real retreats when I can get back up to the highlands yeah, absolutely. And I think that's the thing with what's going on in the world just now. I think so many businesses have to start looking at a different, I think we even just have people working from home now, you know, compared to before and probably won't go back to work anytime soon, you know. So, so Katrina, where can people find out information? Is all this information on your website? It is now, Very yes. Good. Very good. <laughs> Glad to see you're up to date. So what yeah. I'll do then is I'll put all the information um, below this, this interview and people can get in touch with you. When is your next virtual retreat for anybody that fancies joining? Thank you so much. There's one happening right now that, that's full and then the next one I think is the 4th of July and then the 1st of August. But w w when those retreats fill up then I might look at adding more dates in between. But, um, but yeah, 4th of July is the next one which gives people a nice amount of time to prepare because there's a bit of preparation ahead in terms of cutting down in certain things, you know, cutting down in caffeine, just give yourself a trans gentle transition. Um, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Max. Oh, yeah, so listen, thank you so much for talking to me today. I'm sure loads and loads of people will be on your website having a look. And I look forward to seeing you in person soon. Thank you so much, Max. Oh, I'd like to talk to you. You too. Bye-bye.